Claudia Rankin's book titled Citizen is generally crucial in many aspects. As for me, I have never related to a poet's work as much as I relate to Claudia's. Every poem emphasizes minimal discrimination, or as I like to call it, everyday judgment. I admire the book because I have been a victim of continuous frequent verbal discrimination since I could remember how to socialize. But enough about me, let's get to the intriguing scenario that Ms. Rankin discusses on page 10. You are in the dark, in the car, watching the black tarred street being swallowed by speed. He tells you his dean is making him hire a person of color when there are so many great writers out there. You think maybe this is an experiment and you are being tested or retroactively insulted or you have done something that communicates this is an okay conversation to be having. Why do you feel comfortable saying this to me? You wish the light would turn red or a police siren would go off so you could slam on the brakes, slam into the car ahead of you, fly forward so quickly both your faces would suddenly be exposed to the wind. As usual, you drive straight through the, mo the moment, with the expected backing off of what was previously said. It is not only that confrontation is headache producing, it is also that you have a destination that doesn't include acting like this moment isn't inhabitable, hasn't happened before, and the before isn't part of the now as the night darkens and the time shortens between where we are and where we are going. I am not sure if other readers could identify Rankin's purpose and takeaway within this anthology. However, I have never related to a poem more in my entire life. The writer's purpose is not to complain or detail her disgust for an insignificant comment that was never supposed to be said. Rather, her purpose is to explain to the readers her feelings of discontentment, aggravation, confusion, and uncomfortableness. This poem is perfect model that displays the book Citizen's theme entirely. The reason is that Rankin can't help but to question a person who is not of color on their choice of words. Why in all of eternity would you say something like that to me and think that everything would just go back to normal in an instant? After spending extreme amounts of time overthinking the situation, Rankin's consciousness leads to anxiousness, self-doubt, and damn near suicidal thoughts. Not precisely suicide, but based on this piece, you get the point. The only thing that the writer wants to do is run away and escape the toxic environment that she is trapped within. Throughout my life, I have been told countless of times comments about my race. Not only are comments targeted at me, but also my family, my friends, and just about anyone of African descent which genuinely haunts me. It is almost as if a person is fully aware of their racism, but knows they will not face any consequences. Therefore, I want to travel up to discrimination center, which is complexion. Once complexion becomes invisible to the eye, there will be no such thing as bigotry and racism. Thank you.